There are 10 bad habits that if you're doing them, could be making you look and feel older than you really are. No matter what kind of skincare products or routines that you get, and on this channel, you get good skincare routines. So we're gonna talk about who those saboteurs are in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and you don't know who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert, and my job is to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So that's the kind of content that you have been looking for here on YouTube. Please be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when my new videos are out each week. Okay, so getting older in years, it's inevitable. Happens, if you're lucky, to most of us. However, there should be a big difference between your chronological age and your biological age, which is much less susceptible to time. So we're only as old as we allow our premature aging to occur. But for all the lotions and potions and procedures that you could have, these 10 bad habits could be undermining the future of your health and your skin. So. No hocus pocus, let's focus on eating what they are. Much. Number one, eating too much processed foods. Processed foods are high in salt, sugar, preservatives, and artificial coloring. Some of those things are really not meant for the body to digest or absorb. Number one on that list is sugar, and sugar consumption in the United States has bloomed, has blossomed, has exploded more than 40% since 1980. Now, processed food is obviously a big staple, uh, staple of the Western diet, but it can lead to things like diabetes, weight gain, all that salt, dehydration, all those hydrogenated unhealthy oils and sugar, things like acne and even dark circles under your eyes. The next one up is one that I deal with myself and that is eating out too often. I have a busy lifestyle. I know a lot of you guys do too. I love to socialize, especially after this long two year pandemic issue that we're still dealing with. It's nice to get out, nice to go out to eat to a nice meal and be with your friends or family. The issue is unless you're really bold and comfortable asking a restaurant questions about what's in a dish, you tend to kind of go with the flow. And let's face it, in most restaurant meals, we really don't know what's in that food. A lot of it is prepackaged, processed, and made for easy cooking and serving in those types of environments. So one of the ways I handle this is to make sure that when I'm eating at home, I'm eating as healthy as possible. Again, whole grains, lean meats, healthy oils, nuts, avocados. Just know that if you like to eat out often or you have to, you're going to have to be bold and ask those questions and try to steer your crowd, your tribe, your fam over to healthier based restaurant options. Next is not drinking enough water, something that I talk about incessantly here on the channel because it's so important and I know a lot of people know about the six to eight to 10 glasses of water. It really does vary depending on your environment and what's going on with you during the day. So it's better to actually sip water throughout the day. You can actually get containers today that are marked to give you where you are with that eight to 10 glasses of water from one source you sip on all day long. Really is the best way to make sure your skin is hydrated. Water is so necessary for every single process in your body and being dehydrated does you no favors. You guys have heard of the P-test if the color of your urine is clear to a light like lemonade yellow you should be pretty good if it gets darker or it's dark orange you are dehydrated and you need water specifically keep in mind that water is extremely important to the cell replication process in your body so you want to make sure that you're not dried out which leads to the next one, which I am also very guilty of, and that is drinking too much sodas. And for time's sake, we're gonna talk about just sodas, not sugary soda, which has obvious connotations of being too many calories, dead calories can create weight gain. While they may be helpful in reducing calorie intake, they serve up a whole nother set of problems. If you like bubbly, fizzy water like I do, it's better to get those products that are naturally flavored or make your own at home. And now to make a whole lot of you guys really, really hate me, next is drinking too much coffee. Some caffeine in your diet, in your body has been proven 
to have some health benefits because of the antioxidants particular coffee and teas offer. However, coffee has a concentrated amount of caffeine, which is a diuretic as well. Pee out all that water I was just telling you to drink. So it really is finding a balance. Enjoy your coffee, but don't overdo it. One to three cups a day really should be the goal. If you can tolerate decaffeinated anything, I cannot, it just tastes weird to me. That's also a healthier option. Now we're gonna talk about not getting enough fat in your diet. And I'm talking about healthy fats, not bad hydrogenated oils, but olive oil, avocados, nuts like walnuts are incredible skin health boosting foods you should really try to incorporate in your diet. I eat an avocado a day and I snack on walnuts peanuts, and almonds. They are full of the essential fatty acids that you need, including vitamin E, all of which helps fight free radical damage in the body and the skin, also giving you a shot at living a lot longer and healthier. Okay, this one I talk a lot about on the channel as well because it has such a huge impact on the health of your skin and the aging process, and that's not getting enough sleep because you need to let your skin take advantage of that overnight repair cycle that really starts about eight o'clock at night and goes to about three or four o'clock in the morning. So if you're short on sleep, those processes have a harder time completing themselves. This is when your skin cells are actually repairing damage and replicating. Also, all of the organs in your body are in repair mode. So sleep, so super important. Six to eight hours is the goal. I'm a six hour sleeper. Some of you are eight, some of you are 10. You all should know what works best for you so that you have energy during the day, you're not oversleeping, but you're also getting enough rest so that you have clarity of mind, health in the body, and tons of energy to do all the great things you wanna do that day. And on top of getting enough sleep, is getting enough physical activity and that is exercise that means 20 to 30 minutes a day of moderate activity that can be walking that can be swimming that can be playing with your dog there have been a ton of studies that have come out in the last year that show that just 20 to 30 minutes of that moderate exercise per day can roll back up to three years of aging in just eight weeks now another bad habit we need to talk about that's easy to slip by us is not managing our stress levels. Stress is one of the main super agers of skin. Too much stress in our lives can create all kinds of problems. Lack of sleep, which we just talked about, creates imbalances in our body, especially between good and bad bacteria, increases levels of that stress hormone cortisol, which has a negative impact on collagen production, the elasticity and hydration of your skin. So really try to manage your stress, check out every day. I do 20 to 30 minute meditation where I just shut everything off, don't think about anything and let my mind clear. Can just do wonders for your attitude and how you feel, not to mention your health and the health of your skin. And another one that I and almost every YouTuber that you know is guilty of is too much time on devices. It has been proven that too much of that blue light that's emitted from our devices, cell phones, tablets, laptops, what have you, is very damaging to the cells of the eye, can create all kinds of problems with vision. In some cases, it's even been linked to total vision loss. So try to limit your time on your devices if at all possible, especially in the evening because it changes up the hormone patterns in your body leading to a problem with falling asleep. Changing even just a few of these bad habits in your lifestyle can bring you all sorts of benefits, helping you to feel and look more youthful much, much longer. And for another way you can really help reverse and delay aging of the skin and body, be sure to check out this video that's coming out next. It's gonna shock and surprise you. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate you, love you, and I will see you over on that next video. Now it's time for me to go work out.